Hello beautiful Libras, it's Helene from Heart House Astrology with your October 2020 horoscopes. Well, we're starting off the month with a full moon in Aries, your opposite sign on October 1st with Chiron, the wounded healer. So there can be a culmination or intensity that arises between you and a partner at the start of the month. Um, you know, this could be, you know, in regards to um, kind of differences between home or family life. Um, so just, you know, be mindful of that. Um, there, there is a lot of intensity this month. Um, we do have on the second Venus moving into Virgo, which is your 12th house. So you're going to, you're going to want to spend more time retreating, kind of just, uh, time alone to do your yoga practice or prayer practice, you know, more time retreating. I think that between home life and partner demands, you just may feel more um, drained from that. So, you know, it is your birthday month, Libra. Um, so your energy will be coming back. Um, but with Venus in the 12th house, you still need a little more privacy and time to retreat. Um, now, on the 9th, we have a, uh, well, on the 4th, we have Pluto going direct. So this is, this is about taking your power back uh, when it comes to home and family. So if there's been just some, just some more demands with family needs, um, you, you're going to start bringing some boundaries there that I would recommend that, um, and, and taking your power back with family members. Um, you know, some of you, you could be dealing with something around the home as well. Um, perhaps moving or something like that. Um, or re construction, something, you know, that, that might be uh, a little, a lot of work right now. Now, on, on the 10th, we have um, Venus making a trine to Uranus, which is your ruling planet in that 12th house and the 8th house. So I do feel like this is a, um, a very healing opportunity that kind of, you know, is unexpected. Um, maybe on a deep subconscious level, you'll get some insight about something uh, that will be very empowering. Mercury is going retrograde on October 13th uh, in the sign of Scorpio. Um, so this is your second house. So, you know, like always, um, if you're new to watching, you know, I recommend we don't um, sign any contracts on a Mercury retrograde. Um, not not a good time to buy a new technology or car and give yourself plenty of time for um, travel um, and you know there's more of a um, possibility of miscommunication so you just want to be mindful of that now for you um, this is your second house so shopping online be very very meticulous with um, reviewing your bank statements this month um, because they're just, you know, there could be some issues. So you do want to take a look at that and, you know, look at your receipts and everything. Um, we are having a Libra new moon on the 16th. So this is all about you. It's a new beginning, a uh, fresh start. It's your birthday, um, bringing that, you know, energy forward for the year. You're going to get a fresh start of energy when it's your birthday. So happy birthday, Libras. Um, we do have, um, from the 18th through the 24th, Venus, your ruling planet, um, will be in the 12th house, making a trine to Jupiter, Pluto, and Saturn. And so I do feel by the end of the month, uh, you'll feel very empowered, uh, when it comes to home and family, and you could see some positive, um, news there, you know, feeling very empowered. Now, on the 27th, we have Venus going into Libra, which Libra loves to be, and that's going to cross your ascendant, my Libras, and you will be feeling glowing and beautiful. Um, it's excellent time for any beauty procedures, um, hair, makeup, clothing, uh, anything to beautify. You'll just feel like you have that Venusian glow, always, always a good time of year. 
Now, also on the 27th, Mercury retrograde is gonna dip back into your first house, back into Libra. So um, at this time, you know, you just have to be very mindful of your communications with other people. You know, it's opposing your seventh house, other people. So you just wanna be mindful and think before you say things um, and try to be clear in communication. And also, you know, make a statement like, okay, are we clear on that? You know, so that it doesn't uh, get misinterpreted. And lastly, we have a full moon in Taurus with the planet Uranus on Halloween. Um, and this for you is Taurus, which is your eighth house. So there could be some unexpected bonus, um, you know, with a partner. Maybe a partner gets more uh, money or some, some exciting surprise with a partner. Um, it just could be a moment between the two of you. Um, but it should be fun and exciting. So thank you, Libra, for watching. Uh, I'll see you next month.